Big Bird's already tweeted Keith saying uh, tune. And we you were singing along there, Keith. I've got to admit, right, that is one of the best requests ever, Kermo. I want to give you that one, mate. Cheers, mate. I love power ballads. Um, Cloggy, you said you touched yourself to that many a time. <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> you don't lie, come on. Um, he said uh, Mannequin. That was film, film the film Mannequin. Yeah. I want to ask you a question, Keith and Clogger, gentlemen of age. Um, do you think birds were fitter back in the day? You know, like in Mannequin and films like that, they are more natural beauty than there is nowadays. Because I've, I've, birds now, I think they've had too much work. What do you think? Well, uh, I'm old school, so... Uh, Definitely. Back in the day, birds. Yeah. I just think as a kid, though, you were just more rampant, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, true <laughs> that. True <laughs> that. Right. What's that, mate? Yeah, I know. One of the ask you, why are you asking Mike, Ty? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're doing a chew dog now, aren't you? Supervisor. He's doing, yeah, yeah. He's doing a chew <laughs> dog. He's do, do you know what, what chew dog likes to do? Is he like distract us, wave us, like do hand signals, no sense whatsoever, just to distract us. So, why did you pick that tune, Daniel? Um, a weird one, really. Well, just from watching videos of uh, my dad play when when I was a bit younger, and it always seemed to be on all but back of him and at finals and stuff when I used to go watch him play at finals and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a bit reminiscent, you know. Is your dad a good player? Um, everyone tells me we're good. Uh, I only caught back end of his career. He only ever played amateur and played in A team for Scarborough Pirates as well. Scarborough Pirates. Yeah. Arr. Yeah. Did he tell the whole world like a dirty pirate? <laughs> <laughs> Best line ever. <laughs> yeah, he probably, he probably did, yeah, in his, in his A day. Plundering. <laughs> like a pilot. Pirate. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Adam Blackburn as well. Stop winding bales up, please. We don't need that. Um, <laughs> it looks like love, Kate, but it actually says love, hate on his eyelids, so just to clear that one up. And me and Bales got our MAGA tattoos together when we were very drunk. In Magaluf, on the stag do. Bromance. It was a bromance. And um, I also took it to new levels on that holiday. We're not going to go into that. Should we, I'll go into that if you want to go into that. No. no. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go into that. <laughs> Anyone see me out in the street, want me to go to a new level, just ask me and I'll uh, tell you all about it. Right, we're going to play a tune. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 I'm going to say we're going to play Try Me now. Tyre's amazing game, right? The rules of the game, boys. The loser gets to send a tweet off the other person's Twitter, which has to stay on for 24 hours, but it can't get you in trouble with the club. It's Clogger versus Kermo. <laughs> Do you agree to the rules of the game? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Right, try me. I'll pass you over to Tyre. Don't you think Tyre's getting thin on top? <laughs> Put your head down a little bit. Put your head down a little game. bit. Oh! What do you reckon, Keith? It's like a runway. Do you remember when you were ever like that, just going? I remember, yeah. Back when I was 17. <laughs> <laughs> Many moons ago. That, that beard is getting very grey, Keith. Oh, no. Distinction. Distinction. A couple, <laughs> couple of grey stripes under, under my chin there. Jay Buddy Birch, one of my mentors when I was growing up, he, uh, he used to tell me, because he looks about 24 and he's about 40, and I started going grey when I was 22. And he went, grey is a sign of wisdom. You he, he, he stopped me, he looked at me I, I youngin, crazy sign of wisdom. Just walked away like a proper Jedi. I'm like, it's all right, no, no dramas. <laughs> cool. Right, try me. <laughs> Basically, we start off with a, a player. I'll tell you how many tries he scored. You've got to tell me if the next player has scored more or less tries. Now, we're going on this season tries so far. So we're going to start off with Captain Kermo. Danny Kerman has scored two tries this season. Is that it? Just the two. But the young Wool centre Gene Ormsby has he scored more or less tries this season than Danny Kerman. How do you go first, Clogger? He scored more or less. Gene Ormsby. More. What are you saying, Kermo? More. It is correct. You do want to start with Gene Ormsby has scored four tries this season for the Wolves. Next up. He's, he, he's got a great... Tash and beard coming on combo. And pony as well. Pony, yeah. Looking all the, all the fashions. 70s porn style look. Steve O said he looked like uh, Sean Connery. <laughs> a, bl <laughs> <laughs> a black, did he really? A black Sean Connery. Steve O is on end of the hype. He wants to stop smoking that pipe as old, old, old Steve O. Like twins out there, right then. <laughs> <laughs> so Gene Ormsby scored four tries for the Warrington Wolves. 
But as Sia Soliola of St. Ellen's scored more or less tries than Gene Ormsby this he, season. He's a machine. I, I, first time I've seen him properly live, when I've actually had to watch the game. And he, he was just, he was tough. Is he hard to play against Kermo? Yeah, he, run, he runs really hard. Yeah, <laughs> like, everyone runs pretty hard, but I think he runs straight and as hard as he can. Who, who, who's the hardest runner you've played against? Hmm. He'd, be, he'd definitely be up there. Hardest to tackle, probably... Willie Manu and Gazok in my position anyway. Gazok's a horrible man, isn't he? Yeah, he's just, yeah, he's a big strong thing. He's awkward as well, he's really long, so long. <laughs> Very long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Carry on with the game. More. So as Soliola scored more or less tries this season than Gene Ormsby. Danny you go first. I'll say more. Well I'll not copy, I'll show me balls less. <laughs> show us your balls, Cogger. <laughs> <laughs> less. You're saying less? Sia Soliola has scored more tries oh. than Gene Ormsby with six tries. <laughs> so it's 2-1 to Kermo. Next up, Sia Soliola scored six tries. Has Peter Godine scored more or less tries than Sia Soliola, the waking you boy? How many tries has he got this year? Uh, well, less. I think he's got five. Are you saying Kermo, more well, or less? Because he said less, I'll say more. <laughs> Peter Goddard here has scored five tries. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> He's teaching me up here. <laughs> How was this anybody up ever? It's two apiece. Right then. <laughs> Next one, this could be the last one. Unless you both go for the same answer. <laughs> and then we buggered. Right, right, I'll let Clogger pick first. That's how good a guy I am. And I'll go opposite him. Right. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so, Peter Godinier has scored five tries this year. But as what, Ad- what did you go? <laughs> <laughs> You're putting me off. So he's got five t- <laughs> tries. <laughs> but as the Bulls, Adrian Patel scored more or less tries less. than Peter Godinier. Less. More. <laughs> <laughs> Get your phone out, Kermo. Clogger's going less. Kermo's going more. Get your phone out, Kermo. He has scored less tries. Oh, 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 oh Kermo. He Clogger. has scored more tries please. for the Bulls this year. 3% as well. That's a quick plug. Quick, look at that. Sweet out. Put anything you want. You just can't get him sacked. That's the only thing. It's all right. We've got a charger if it goes. 3-2 to Clogger. Try me. Be ruthless. Congratulations, Clog. How does it feel to be a winner? <laughs> I was born a winner. Uh, <laughs> it's just another day to me. <laughs> right, we've got loads to go on tonight. We've okay, got the start- we can't even see, <laughs> can't even see a keypad. <laughs> we've got the, we've got the stats, stats game coming up. We've got knowing me, knowing you, we're going to do with Clogger today. Um, loads of fans' questions, game previews, all coming up tonight. Right, Keefe, <laughs> he's, getting his, he's getting the glasses out. It's yeah, all going right. off here. It's all going off inside. Um, what's we've got some more latest news, <laughs> Keith? Yeah, we've got a bit of news. Uh, obviously, Brett Kern has been out. He's uh, he's out eight to ten weeks with a broken uh, thumb, which is a massive disappointment for the Bradford team. Massive. He's probably oh. one of the standout performer all year. It's not just that. To be honest, when you when you take BK out of the the team, you you lose Tron up wing. Chong's been playing so well on the wing, like Elliot Keir. And he, he played fullback this weekend. I thought he was the man of match for Bradford, but he um, it, it was a big loss for him off, off at wing. So you know, S- Sam Wood, S- Sam Wood did a good job, um, but he's you know he's no BK. <laughs> <laughs> Any more news, Keefe? Yeah, he, he dare tweet off his phone, Danny, so he's give it to the to the devil himself. <laughs> <laughs> the devil now. <laughs> Yeah, Steve McCormack is back in the game, uh, head coach at Scotland. He's now taken over the Gloucestershire All Goals coach, which is good to see. Uh, but but I think that just shows basically the state of the game when you've got a national coach, Scotland head coach, not in a coaching position. Uh, you know, so that's a little bit dis- disappointing in that respect. But it's it's great to see him back in the game and hopefully he can spread the game down at Gloucestershire. Cause they're, they're struggling a little bit at the moment, and uh, you know we're all about expansion. Uh, so hopefully he can do a, a good job down there and uh, get them firing and hopefully get them climbing up the table. 
spoke about Jamie Shaw, obviously with his big five-year deal. Uh, London Broncos, big Joe Grimmer, he's looking to France to obviously to make his new signings. Is uh, They're giving a trial to prop Maxime Herald, 24, who's currently playing with a French elite side, one championship club, Limou. So uh, he's now expanding his horizons, looking overseas to try to finally try and uh, get London Broncos their first win of the season. Can London can London get a win this year? What do you reckon? It's, it's came out. Are they going to win one game? I think it's going to be hard for them, but I think they are improving week in, week out, really. They pushed Huddersfield pretty close at the week, and so, you know, if he brings a few more players in, maybe, yeah. yeah Clogger, have you, have you, from the point, Super League's point of view, obviously, you've been, you've been around the game a long time. Is it a ba- is it bad for the game to lose London, lose that Southern connection for the for the for the sp- spread of the game? Is it bad for them to be out of Super League? Well, uh, in my opinion, the ro- the line in the sand's been drawn, hasn't it? Uh, if they go, they go. Uh, you won't be many pe- uh, won't be many people in Featherstone crying uh, or Halifax, Sheffield, or Lay if uh, London go down. So. Them's the rules, and that's what we're all adhering to. So they've got to go if that's the thing. Uh, on a personal point of view, I haven't got one really. <laughs> I ain't got one. It doesn't really mean much to me. Um, Keithy, London, you know, as the project worked, there's been a lot of money thrown at it. Is it, you know, what, what's your, what's your, what do you say, big man? Uh, as a super league competition, I don't think it's particularly worked. But I think if you look at the amateur game, the amateur game's grown a lot down in London over the last few years. Uh, they are starting to do some good players. Obviously, St. Helens, uh, you know, William McCarthy, Garsbrook, and Tony Club's gone to uh, to Wigan as well. So they are producing players. Uh, so it is something that, like anything, it's going to take take time. And, uh, and I think that's where it starts. If you start with the amateur game and start with the kids, then obviously they're going to start producing players. So hopefully. You know, coming in the next five to ten years, London Broncos or you know whoever will then hopefully have a dominant force from from the homegrown players that they've produced. Is, I that, think is I, that all the beeping going from you sending out the tweet? <laughs> the tweet has been sent. It's it's online. And uh, come on, have you got rid of all your dogs now? Are they all gone. I've, I kept one. You kept yeah. one. What do you call it? Uh, <laughs> Cecile. It's a bit hard for me to say with my list. My missus named it. <laughs> Cecile. Yeah. That's oh, nice name. Thought you could have come up with something better than that. French, innit? It's French because ah, the French bulldog. French bulldog, bulldog yeah. yeah. How much did you make on it on the litter? Uh, <laughs> How much did you sell one to Paul McShane for? Um, I think he'd give me a thousand pounds for one. Thousand quid? Yeah. So how many did you have to sell? Uh, she had nine. Nine grand you made on the litter? Well, I kept one. So. Eight grand you made on the litter of pups? I might have knocked a bit off for a few people. Yeah. <laughs> but not Macca. <laughs> 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 he didn't play with us then, though, did he? He'll he's playing with him, honest. <laughs> <laughs> Punished him. No, he'll, be, <laughs> he'll be coming back for it now. What, 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 what were the cheapest one you let go? Um, 400 quid. I can't no, say no. that. I heard, no. I heard 400 quid. No, no, I no, heard 400 no. quid. I, had I heard 400 <laughs> quid and you stung Macca for a grand. Be honest. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I only charge scroops in my mate 350, like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you legend. Oh, dear. You're in for it now. Wait, wait, wait till you get he home. will. He'll come back for it, Macca. He's on a bu- How's Macca been budget? doing? Because obviously he's, he's come from Leeds. He's always, uh, you know, Lee, you, you said you, you said yourself, Keith, he, he's a great player, Macca, great skills. And um, he's probably best off not reading that. Oh, you no, I don't <laughs> want to read it. <laughs> um, he probably, he, he's great skills. Is it a loss for Leeds? Because obviously Paul Layton's injured now. He's, he's not very well. We don't really know what the word is on, on Paul. Hopefully they get better soon. Wishing best of luck for his recovery. But uh, could Leeds in the crucial games miss a hooker like Paul McShane? Yeah, definitely. Well, th- they haven't got a starting hooker at the moment. Obviously, Rob Burrow's injured as well. He's out Clark for, is doing a well. He's out for eight to, eight to 12 weeks. And uh, Clark has got in there. They've tightened up the game. As you can see, there's no wide distribution passes coming out there. So, But uh, he's done a job. And then they moved Kevin Sinfield to hooker in the second half when he needs a bit of a breather so they're adapting and, and they're still winning games so you know Mr Versatility Clark he's in there and he's, he's showing how to do it so you know that's showing his worth as a, as a utility player you know sometimes that's how, how the game goes you've got you've got to put people out of position and uh, you know they're still winning games so 
Yeah, well, they, they're always going to win games because they've got great fans like Tyre, Tyre. You know, you know, your biggest Leeds fan I know. And um, how do you feel that they've been going this year so far? Been going all guns blazing. It's been a great start. The defence has tightened so wooden. up. So wooden, isn't it? <laughs> Just try to get him involved because when, when TV comes down, he's got to loosen up. But <laughs> did you see the tire and uh, is it tire and road trip? Yeah, the <laughs> yeah you selling big issue, didn't they? Yeah, what yeah. about Trump? <laughs> <laughs> that was the actor. I act wooden. That's uh, <laughs> he's that's just all an act, isn't it? That's how I try and come across, and obviously it works a treat because people think that's how I am. <laughs> Clogger, I've got a, I've got a question for you from uh, from Kyle Lamar, oh, a good okay. friend here. He said. Um, Ask for Clogger's thoughts on a Cumbrian Super League, his love of the county in general. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, if people don't know, uh, with with the underwhelming uh, intro I got to this show, uh, <laughs> you might not know that I did work up at Barra, and uh, it wasn't for me. <laughs> it was a, a dark place in my career. It's one I've uh, wiped out of my memory. Uh, some... <laughs> It's just a nightmare for me that uh, a Cumbrian Super League team, I don't think it'd ever work logistically. Uh, I just think there's a lot of Cumbrian based players who play down in Yorkshire and Lancashire who like to cry on Twitter about it. <laughs> 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 Kyle being the main one, uh, Sean Lunt, uh, Greg McNally, uh, but whatever, whatever. Yeah, Mar Mara does beat the drum hard uh, for. Um, Cumbria, as does Brad Singleton. He's oh yeah, a, he's another big Mara. And uh, Bobby Gould, uh, Gould Building got his first wing this weekend. Congratulations to Bobby, great friend of the show. He's actually coming on in June. Have you come across Bobby in your time? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you make of We've Bobby? We've had a little bit of banter, me and Bobby have on you? Twitter. Yeah. Who, who, who's who's been like? Do you have any nemesis in the strength and conditioning world? Anyone you don't particularly like? Anyone you just like? <laughs> Uh, I fall out with people regular. Uh, <laughs> it's not you a, a, list of top, a top few clogger fallouts. Oh, falling out with Stuart Fielding, Lee Gilmore, Leon Price. But I always make friends. I'm I'm friendly deep down. But uh, what what did you what happened with Stuart Fielding? Because we've got a fellow Stuart Fielding here sat next to you. Uh, it is a harsh word, isn't it? Dislike her. I love Fielding. I love him. He's a great bloke to me. But he just hates you, Keith. Stewart is <laughs> one of the most professional rugby league players I've ever come across. He's uh, w what you call a technician in the trade. He does everything right, looks after himself, trains hard, but he's different. He, he's, <laughs> his sense of humour is not the same as mine. And uh, I once I tried to do a, a mimic of him and he didn't like it, but that was my fault. Stewart's a great bloke and uh, we've cuddled since. So has Keith and Stu. In Halifax. <laughs> In liquid. <laughs> In liquid. <laughs> That's right. Catch, good catch, Josh. Um, right, we're going to do some fans' questions now. Ty, have you got any fans' questions ready? I've got most of them out, you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you've got most of them out. Right. Emma Broadhead. Hey! I'll tell you what, Emma Broadhead has been killing it for us on, uh, on the website and Twitter. Thank you very much, Emma, for all your help. What other sport would you like to compete in if you weren't playing rugby league and also I'd say strength and conditioning in rugby league so we'll start with you Kermo what sport would you like to most compete in? Um, quite an obvious one but golf I just love getting out on golf course We've been around this week? Yeah yeah get out there with you Simo well, it's, it's Tony Abbott the Ed On Show's birthday today right and we're off next week for a round of golf with Tony for his birthday and I get to invite one extra person we're going to go on Tuesday so if you'd like to come we're going to go on Tuesday Sounds me, good. you, Tony, and Stocks who works here. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good to me. Isn't it? Welcome. Uh, Mr. Clogger. Uh, well, I had the great privilege of going to Aston Villa one year. Uh, we we were on camp there for a week. I got sp speaking to their strength and conditioning coach, and he were on a quarter of a million pound a year, so <laughs> I'd have some of that. <laughs> yeah. Bit of football. Is it hard for you to move sports once you're in rugby league? Because rugby league is, is like, it's perceived as obviously the working man's, uh, the blue collar game for the UK. Does that come across as well in your game? Because I've got a friend of mine called Brendan Chaplin. Have you ever come across him? Strength and conditioning. He, he, he runs Leeds Met. And he's been to, you did Newcastle Falcons, Leeds Met, he did LTA long term. But he just, he's a strength and conditioning guy. And um, 
he also he bought what was his name Vern Gambetta. He bought him across from USA. He's like some famous strength and conditioning guy. Very interesting. I watched his videos and I just thought, is it easy for yourself to move between sports? Uh, I think yeah, as long as you've got someone to mentor you. Yeah. yeah. So you can have a transition. Nobody's got a magic formula. Yeah. Most uh, most teams do the same thing. So what, have you got any secrets? Any tri tips? The tri is, it, is it any like special things that you you do and only you? <laughs> Believe it or not, I, I I like to have a crack with the boys. It's a long year. Yeah. If you're not having fun, uh, it's an even longer year. So I base, I I put lists up. Top top ten good looking, top ten Tightest. best rigs, top ten tight. Just try and get a bit of banter going and, and the camaraderie. Can, can you give us your top ten worst rigs in rugby league history that you've trained? <laughs> or top three, if ten tens too many. Top three worst three rigs. Uh, third would be Richie Mathers. Worst rigs? He's got, he's yeah. got a bit of a glamour rig, hasn't he? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you look in the right places. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Matty Ryan <laughs> and Danny Kermod. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Right. Do not put Leon Price in that list. Right. Oh, no, he's in the top ten. <laughs> Adam says to Kermod, is it true you could have been a nuclear scientist? <laughs> I forgot where this come from, but yeah, I seen a story saying um that I'm quitting rugby to be a nuclear scientist. What? I know. You haven't got that in you. No, no. <laughs> That's a no I I'm think that Sheffield player did it though. And, and um, Shosh Yeah, yeah, Sosh yeah, he's yeah. gone He's gone back to university to uh, further his education. He's supposed to be a real smart person. Yeah, like a nuclear physicist. Yeah, he's taken a, he's taken a year out for it, yeah. Right, um, Sarah Bull says, do you think the Bulls should get their six points deduction overturned, Kermo? <laughs> is that a trick question? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no. Well, but if if they did, would you be scared? We'd be looking over your shoulder. Well, obviously it would be a lot closer, but I think we're going upwards with that rather than downwards now, so I'd, I'd still fancy our chances, but obviously the six points makes it a bit more comfortable. Clogger, what do you reckon? Would you like to see him get the points back? Uh, no. Keith, would you like to see you get the points back? Let's get all the keyboard warriors out there. Uh, no, not because of the Bradford oh. club. <laughs> oh, Keith. But because obviously you've got personal reasons why you don't want to. I just think the, the RFL have set the precedent. Uh, points have been deducted before, so they need to keep on. They've, they've made the decision, so they need to make sure that they stick to it. I would say yes, because I'd like to see it be a tighter battle towards the end of the season. More interesting, I'd like to see a couple more teams... Pit. I'd like to see a few teams on around 10 points, 12 points, all, you know, a bit of interest before the end of the season to keep, because what I was hoping for with relegation more than anything, I knew London would be gone, that were obvious, but I was hoping that it would make the bottom of the league interesting for the for all the games right to the end of the season. That's why I want them to get the points, but because I do believe that they deserve, you know, they've been through so much as a club, they, there's no way on earth they deserve to have this done. Right, uh, Scott, does anyone pull your beard in the tackle to Kermo? Who's the worst beard puller, worst offender? It's not happened in a game, to be honest, but uh, <laughs> Danny Washbrook does it all the time and it's, it's, it kills. It's, it's <laughs> nearly up there with getting kicked in balls, to be honest. Kicked in the ghoulies. Yeah. We should, t we should test it out. What are your thoughts on Kukash tweeting out that he wants to sign BJB? That's at least two Tigers. And at least two Tigers. And at least two Tigers. Keith, what's your thoughts? He's, he's in the market for anybody that's available. And obviously, Ben Jones Bishop is a class player. So, uh, you know, why not? Don't know who the cast players are. But uh, you, any, any, any inside information on the cast players that he wants? No? <laughs> get, get involved, in Ty. Great research there. Um, yeah, that today is that your fans' questions all done, Ty? Oh, it's my crystal ball again, <laughs> covering all those fans' questions. Just read the program. You did, re you did read them all from your phone, though, didn't you? Yes, <laughs> actually, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what you were saying before. Yeah. Ah, now I get you. Now I get you. Anyway, <laughs> let's play a tune, and then we'll be back with some game previews. Welcome to BM's Mad Monday.